All right, in this tutorial, we're gonna take a look at how to use SureDash to deliver our lead magnets or free content that we want to give somebody simply for opting in or signing up for that content. I'm thinking for this lead magnet, we'll do something like a free workshop. We'll keep it pretty simple. I'll go into more detail in other videos about doing things like webinars or stuff like that. But this one's gonna be like a little mini workshop, maybe just like a video that we're gonna put on the page with something like Presto Player. Uh, we'll grant access with Sure members. We'll use AutoKit maybe to integrate with whatever lead opt-in that we use, or, or maybe we'll just use something like Sure Forms. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's create a space inside of uh, our SureDash installation here. Um, so I'm going to find one. I'll go to my workshop section here. That'll, that'll work for us. And we'll add a new space. I'll call this my workshop lead magnet. You'd, of course, give yours a name that makes sense for what your lead magnet is. And we're going to choose just a single poster page um, rather than doing um, you know, a course I think would be too involved for this lead magnet. Uh, and a post discussion doesn't make sense because it's just going to be something we're posting that people can access. Uh, so I'll click continue there. And now it's going to look for a page if we have one, but I'm going to create a brand new one by clicking that create new. Now we've been given access here to the WordPress block editor inside of a modal inside of SureDash. I'll give this a title. I'll call it my workshop lead magnet. And then I'm going to add a video. I'll go in here. I'll go into Presto Player. I'll drag in my Presto Player block. Depending on where you're hosting your videos, you'd select those. I think I'll select a Vimeo video for simplicity. I'll go ahead and add a video, one of my workshops. So I'll insert my Presto player, paste in my URL, click add video. I'll fix this. This is just saying that this video doesn't have permission to play on my test domain. I'll get that fixed in a second. And now I'm going to add something down below, something like lesson resources. Now at the time of this video, there is no like lesson resources, kind of like module or block. So you're going to want to add something on your own. You could put in like a paragraph text. You can insert like an emoji for like a download or something like that. So let's put just something like it looks like a download folder. And we'll say download the migration checklist. Let's say that our lead magnet was all about migrating tools or something like that. We could like hyperlink this to something. I'm just going to put in a, a placeholder link um, to make it look official. And then I'm going to click save on this and click save again. Uh, publish to publish our page and we'll close out of it. Okay, there it is now. We've selected our workshop lead magnet page. I'm going to insert selected page now, or space essentially. Drops it in, and now we can customize. So a couple things happened. We edited the page, which is standalone outside of SureDash. Okay, we selected that page. We brought it in. We're looking at the content right in front of us that's going to be used in the space. Now for this space, we can choose a thumbnail image a banner image. We can choose whether it's con the container width inherits the defaults of our SureDash or goes full width. Um, I'll select full width just to show you what that looks like. Uh, and then you can choose whether or not to allow comments. I'm going to turn those off because I don't want to worry about those on a lead magnet. All right, I put in uh, the thumbnail image and the banner image, nothing special. I just uploaded the images at the dimensions they recommended. Spoilers, I cropped it just for this demo, dropped them in there. So those are ready to go. Uh, now let's save our page and take a look at what it looks like on the front end. All right, here we are on the front end of our workshop. A couple of things I want to look at here. Uh, one, the banner image is horrendous. Two, the video is like really big because I chose full width. And even in full width, though, they've given this little background border, which I actually think looks rather nice. But I want to go something a little less um, container with full. I want to go to container with normal here. We'll hit uh, load. Let's hit refresh on this. Um, uh, that's okay, I guess. I kind of wish there was like something in between, uh, but that'll do. Um, man, horrendous video player <laughs> defaults and horrendous uh, banner image. Ignore that. Uh, but you get the idea. Let's pretend this is our workshop. We've put all the content and the videos and the stuff in here that we want. Now we need to protect this space from everybody else accessing it, because right now it's just in the left sidebar. Anyone that gets access to our shirt ash can access it. And we need to also make it so that if somebody signs up using whatever mechanism we choose, they'll get access to this workshop. So that's where we're gonna use Sure Members. I'll pop over to Sure Members here, and I'm gonna create an access group. And this one will be, um, well, we can do this a couple different ways. I've played around with the idea of creating an access group that says if you get one workshop, you can get all the workshops. That's kind of a cool little like lead magnet. Uh, the other one is we wanna get really granular and know who signs up for which one. So we'll go that route. We'll just say that this is our workshop lead magnet access group. So now we're gonna protect our content and we're going to look for, um, this is one feedback I have, uh, at least at the time of recording this, we have portal spaces and we have all portal spaces. I'd like this to say like specific portal spaces um, and like 
like community content and things like that. But instead we have to actually go down to our specific post pages, etc., And we're going to look for a specific page. And the one we're looking for is our workshop lead magnet. So we'll type in workshop. There it is, portal space, workshop lead magnet. It wasn't too hard, but it would have been nice if we had like a different place to select there. Maybe there will be in the future. If there is, that's where you'll find it. Uh, so we've got our workshop lead magnet, and now we need to choose what happens for unauthorized access. We're just going to show a message. We'll show it in the content that says you do not have access to this workshop. And then we'll put a button that says sign up here, placeholder in there for the button. And then we'll click save access group. All right, so now that we have our access group created, we need a mechanism for giving access to the access group. And we're going to do that with AutoKit, but we need a, a method of sign up. Now you can use whatever you want. You can use uh, your high level forms. You can use a form from essentially anything that connects with AutoKit. I'm just going to use a sure form. So I'm going to come into sure forms and I'm going to create a new form. And I'm just going to create a simple opt-in. We'll call it build from scratch and we'll call this one our workshop lead magnet. We'll add a field. We'll ask for their name, add another field and just ask for their email. We'll change the label to first name. We'll make this one required. Email is going to be required. Uh, in a recent update to SureForms, now you have the ability to do some styling on it. You can do a custom style and you can customize the buttons and things like that. Um, you know, we can leave it like this though. I'll do sign up for the free workshop. Looks good enough to me. I'm gonna hit publish on that for right now. You can customize things in SureForms. I have a whole video on that uh, that you'll find here on my channel. Uh, essentially, you can choose where they go after they fill out this form, you can, even if you wanted to redirect them right to the, the page, why don't we just do that? I'll do a uh, form confirmation, we'll go redirect, and we'll say go to page. They'll take them right to like the SureDash portal. Um, so with that in place now, we can embed this form wherever we want it to go, or we can use an instant form, uh, but we'll just hit save on that. Wherever you put this form, well, that's up to you. Inside of AutoKit, formerly known as Sure Triggers, if you didn't pick up on that already, Let's create a workflow from scratch. We'll call this our workshop lead magnet. We'll click create. We're gonna add a trigger and that trigger will be from SureForms and it'll be a form submit on our marketing funnel site. We'll hit continue. We'll select the form. We're gonna choose our workshop lead magnet form. We have to fill it out. We'll use the instant form page so that I don't have to put it somewhere. I'll enable my instant form. That's totally fine. Save the changes, go view our form. We'll fill out our form. All right, as soon as we did that, our test worked, so we're good to go on our test. Our next step is going to be Sure Members. We're going to add to an access group. We're going to select our website, and then we'll go to at email. So the user's email, we'll just map that, and then we're going to add them to our workshop lead magnet. We'll hit continue, we'll test our action, and that worked just fine. So we have these two steps done. However, we've got a little bit of a problem. We technically don't have a user on our website, uh, that matches the user that filled out this form. So we need to actually take uh, another step here, uh, and that would be to create an account on our website. Uh, it's one of the subtle difficulties with using a WordPress-based setup like this is that now we have to create an account for them. Um, so we can do that in a couple different ways. I think the easiest would be just to do a WordPress action, and that would be to create the user. So we'll pop into here and we'll say create or update the user and we'll select our website. Now we'll configure this, the username, I typically like to set that as their uh, email as well. So we'll do at email, we'll pull in the user's email address. We'll also use the email for their email address. Now you're gonna need to map their first name if you want to, I think it's not a bad idea. Ours was just a text field. Um, you could of course update it that to be easier to find. Um, now we need to set a password. Um, an, an interesting step you may have wanted to take would be on your form to like give a password, um, like a password field. Um, but we can just leave it blank uh, to automatically generate a password, which is totally fine. And then we can select their role. Here's an interesting option as well. I've shown this in other videos for sure. Members, you can actually create different roles that would line up with your lead magnet. So you could literally create a role called like workshop name. Um, you can see here I've done that in several examples, but we're just going to leave them as the baseline subscriber, like the lowest role they can be. Um, and then we need to take a look at these next boxes. So if a user already exists, do we want to force update the user? I don't think we need to um, because we're not doing anything else here. Um, so we'll leave that off. That would have been more for like 
user roles, in which case you may have wanted to add an additional user role rather than changing their role. And then careful, you can actually change your admin user role. So don't screw that up on your admin account. Uh, so this is all you need for the basic account setup. We just want to hit continue. And then um, of course, you've got to test the action, which in and of itself is literally going to uh, create the user account if it exists. With our workflow in place now, with our trigger and our two actions, we can go ahead and give this a test. I'll go ahead and fill this out. Uh, we'll click sign up for the free workshop. Now, because my portal on my demo site here is set to private, something I might actually rethink doing if I were making this like a really open lead magnet uh, driven type space. But because it's private and because I chose to redirect directly to my homepage of my Shirtash, I'm seeing a login screen. Horrible user experience. You'd probably want to send them to a page that says, hey, if you've got an account, click here to log in. If you don't have one, check your email because you just got an email. We'll go ahead and enter our username, which is our email and our password and hit login. Now that we're logged in, I haven't made a bunch of other stuff in my community private. Um, so the feed, of course, is showing all my testing stuff, but I can come down to my specific workshop lead magnet. The first thing that's a good sign is that I don't see a padlock, which means it's not locked. I click into it uh, and there it is. It's working great. I got access to the workshop. Everything looks as it should there. Now, if I come to my user here and I revoke access from the access group, and then I swap back here uh, to this other window where I'm logged into that user and I refresh on the portal, you can see there's our error message. You do not have access to the workshop, sign up here, and that would go to wherever you wanted them to sign up, wherever you have that form embedded or whatever mechanism you're using uh, in order to get them to sign up for the workshop or the lead magnet, whatever it might be that you're offering access to. All right, and that's a quick look at how you can use Shirtash to essentially create a curated content experience for your lead magnets and gives them a look at all the other things that you have that maybe they haven't signed up for, some of which might be premium, or available for purchase. And it's just a great way to kind of get people in. And once they're in, they're much easier to sell to. There's plenty of more SureDash content to come. If you have any requests, please, by all means, leave them down below and let me know.